Welcome to Germany. Hi, Heligant. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here is Miss Nelson. In today's video, I'm going to just talk about uh, some of the things that you should avoid as soon as you, you come to Germany, just so you navigate yourself properly in Germany without getting yourself into trouble or getting anything like fine. There are some fine that you will get in Germany it just label you a, a criminal record. There are some Things that we sh we do do in our country and uh, in Germany is is law, and then you are breaking the rule and regulation. You are breaking the law. Recently, they give a lot of people resident permit, and uh, there is a letter that we give these people to sign. That letter states that you have uh, signed that you are bad to their rule and regulation. So if you come into the system and breaking their rule and regulation, you will be fired for it. So elegant. Number one, bringing out your middle hand towards other people. Let's say, for example, you have issue with uh, somebody in the street in Germany and you just bring out your middle hand like, towards this person. So you are going to be fired for that, almost 100, 4,000 euros. So down this moment, it's still like 4,000 euros you are going to pay for that, most especially if, you, if that person gets an evidence, oh yeah. If you get an eye weakness, so you are going to pay. In Germany, they do call it Bugert, and they also call it Strafe. So that is the name they call it in Germany, Bugert or the, uh, Strafe and so vital. They have a lot of names. They do call anything that has to do with fine. When you do anything that warrants you paying 4K, I don't think that one is fine anymore. So that is number one. And then number two is you bringing out your tongue to somebody i'm just going to be leaving all the name of this tongue towards others some, someone that you are having issue with is going to cost you no less than 150 euro and then number three is the uh, addressing police officer as do if you are in, if, let's say you are a foreigner and then you just arrive in germany you address police as do that one is fine they know that you are foreigner you are just new in germany but mind you first of all they will ask you have how many years you have been in Germany? If you are just maybe like two years downward that you have been in Germany, you are is fine. But I know that some people have been five years in Germany, they still do not know between do and z. So, but make sure you learn all those uh, uh, formal and the uh, informal or that. So, so just go and learn it because it's not nice you saying police officers do because they see it as a disrespectful especially if you have issue with the policeman and then you are not addressing the policeman as do they will feel that you just you just feel like disrespecting this police they will never knew that you don't understand germany that is why you are addressing the police as do so for those of you who don't really uh, who are not in germany that will be watching this video in germany there is different between do and then z let's say we are friend we are not friend in Germany, we are just friends. Even if you senior me with 100 years, I can call you do. I can address you as do because we are not best of friends. So I can address you as do. If you are also my relative, I know you too well. Person, person that I know too well, I can address you as do. But there are some people that you just met on on a, 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 a very good day. Like you just met them. You have never been friends with this person. So even if that person, you senior this person, don't just look at the age anymore. You will address this person as Z. That is in Germany. So even if I met somebody that is uh, like 15 years of age and I know that she's just a little girl, I will just address as Z. It's a sign of respect. That is in Germany. That is why if you met somebody on, like this person, you are meeting that person uh, on the first time, you don't have to address this person as do, write that as Z. If this, some people also say, can I call you as, even if you met them on that very day, they will also ask you, they need to ask if I can address you as Z. Because they also give you, as you are giving them that respect, they are also giving you that respect. Just like a friend that I met in my children's uh, school, she was trying to explain something to me. And then she asked me if she can address me as a uh, do. You know, if I said no, you cannot address me as do. Like, address me as Z. So she will just do according to my wishes. But if I say, okay, yeah, kind of problem. And then she will not address me as do. But anybody who see me and the lady will think maybe we are best of friends, but we are not best of friends. We just met like, I think we have met like three times. We greeted, 
we have not really sat down and uh, talk. But on that very day, we went back, we were about to sit down and talk about business. And then that was when she asked me if she can co address me as do. So, yeah, that is how it is in Germany. In Germany, don't address policemen as do. You will be fired for that. It may cost you like 600 euro. Yeah, you may see it as a, a little thing, but it's going to cost you money. Most especially if they see that you knew what you are saying. You just purposely, you purposely just want to do without respect because you are angry with the police officer. You cross traffic lights when it's green, perfect. But if you cross it when it's red, you may pay five euro for that, for crossing that is for road one, not uh, maybe you are driving a car. So let's say people that is crossing with a pedestrian that is crossing with a uh, leg. So if the traffic light is red and you cross, the car shoe, you're going to pay five euro for that. So if you're a train station, maybe you are crossing, you don't pass the new the uh, place you are supposed to pass. Let's say train station now, you know they they have a train uh, line. So you just maybe cross to the other side and the car shoe, you are paying five euro for that. You need to follow the right way. Washing your car at home. Back in Africa, we do that. You have water if you have a brush to brush your tire of car you can do it and just use your water to wash it you know wash it for your outside do well so but in germany it's not uh, advisable and uh, is it is a law is a law in germany you don't wash your car at home so they have a car wash take your car there and then the car will also wash they also have where they also use a vacuum vacuum so let's say, for example, or inside, inside your car is dirty, so you can go there and use the vacuum to vacuum inside your car to just uh, maintain inside. You can also do that in your home, but don't wash it like pouring water on the surface of your car, washing the car. So let's say if you take your car to city now, it's not going to cost no less than 50 euro so to wash your car perfectly. So, But if you wash your car at home and you have big cash, you pay 1,000 euro or more. Yeah, slightly on an autobahn is going to cost you 10 or 5 euro. The next number, riding a, a public a transport without a ticket is going to cost you 60 euro. According to how you, where you drive, okay, because the city that is just within the region, so it's, uh, sometimes it's cost 60 euro and more, but minimal is a 60 euro. Even if the place, let's say, for example, you travel from a Dortmund to what they call it, uh, to the next station, which is uh, supposed to be like 3 euro, and then the cash you without a ticket, you are supposed to pay 60 euro. So pissing in public is going to cost you 35 to 5,000 euro. I don't think you want to pay that money. So that piece, you must hold the piece till you get home or you get to a safe part. So I don't think you will want to do that for just pissing. So, and then standing on the loading uh, area. Let's say, for example, this place is designed for uh, air cover firing, like what they call air cover safe. <sighs> the trailer driver, so where trailer driver are supposed to be loading and uploading, they are not supposed to stand right there. But if you eventually stand there, so it will cost you no less than five euro, even if you call it cheeky change, but uh, nothing is cheeky change when it comes to euro. So, yeah, that is standing for uploading and uploading area. And then the next number, a boarding on the street when there is a sidewalk is going to cost you five euro. And then leaving your trash behind in the public is going to cost you 20 euro to 100 euro. Swimming in a public area where it's prohibited, where it's not allowed to swim, and then you are swimming there, it's going to cost you 5,000 euro. So, insulting order, even if it is a policeman or it's just a private person, it's going to be a more expensive. Depending on the insult, it may also land you one year imprisonment. Yeah. So, they have a lot of uh, circumstances and also penalty for it when you insult uh, private people or even a policeman, just another people. But it has to be, there has to be a limit of the insult because if the insult gets worse, that is our worst will get the penalty. So, Heli, I think I've said everything that uh, the, that you may get fined for when you are in Germany, sinking your tongue, uh, bringing out your middle hand, addressing the policeman as do, kissing in public, uh, crossing the 
train station, entering a public transport without a ticket, and uh, crossing the traffic light with, with a red light without showing the green, you just insulting private people or police uh, officer, swimming where is not allowed. So if you come here in Germany, try and avoid all these things. Insulting private people and uh, maybe police officer, I forgot to say that they can also take it as a criminal record. It depends on what you said when you are this person having issue depends on what you said and so they're also going to like label you as a criminal record and you also have that uh, finality of one year imprisonment so hello guys that is just it for this video if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and um give this video a thumbs up share for your friend and family and i will see you hello in my next video have a blessed wonderful day do make sure to stay blessed bye